the county of Fairfax, Virginia. There is a bridge located near the old Orange and Alexandria Railroad, known officially as the Colchester Overpass. However, the dark history and grisly deaths tied to it has earned it a different name to the public. Bunny Man Bridge The now widely known legend of the titular Bunny Man stems from two real-life incidents in 1970. The first incident occurred the night of October 19, 1970, when Air Force Academy cadet Robert Bennett and his fiance parked their car in a field on Guinea Road to visit a relative across the street. Before Bennett could even shut off the motor, a figure clad in all white shattered the front passenger window, screaming to the couple about trespassing. As Bennett turned the car around and fled, the two found a hatchet lying on the floor of the car. Bennett himself reported the man is wearing a white suit with bunny ears, but his wife, however, claimed the man was simply wearing a white hood instead. Regardless, Bennett reported the incident to both the Fairfax County Police and the Air Force Academy upon his return. The second confirmed incident with the aptly named Bunny Man occurred a mere 10 days later when security guard Paul Phillips noticed a man on the porch of an unfinished home on the same Guinea Road. According to Phillips's report, he looked approximately 20 years old, was about 5 feet 8 inches tall, and was wearing a black, white, and gray bunny costume. Upon approaching the man, Phillips claimed he began chopping at a post on said porch with an axe, yelling about trespassing, and that if Phillips came any closer, he would chop his head off. Both incidents were investigated by the Fairfax County Police, but were both closed due to lack of evidence. Although these two incidents were the only confirmed sightings, the weeks following held a staggering number of reported sightings of the Bunny Man. The legend itself, the one that earned Colchester Overpass the name of Bunny Man Bridge, has gone through many variations over the decades. The most well-known and commonly accepted one, however, paints a haunting tale worthy of the infamy it holds. In the year 1904, an insane asylum near the town of Clifton, Virginia was shut down due to it being highly disliked by the townspeople's growing population. During the transfer of the asylum's occupants, one of the transportation vehicles crashed, killing most of the inmates and the driver. The ten inmates that survived escaped into the woods. After a search party was put out, all but two inmates were recovered. In the time of their search for the remaining convicts, locals reportedly found hundreds of skinned, half-eaten rabbits hanging from the trees. Another search found the remains of Marcus Walster, one of the missing convicts. He was found hanged, like the rabbits, under the Colchester Overpass. With Walster found, the police named the remaining convict Douglas J. Griffith as their suspect, nicknaming him the Bunny Man. Officials managed to eventually find Griffin and chased him back to the tracks above the overpass. He came close to escaping but was hit and killed by an oncoming train. Some say the police heard laughing from the other side of the tracks as the train went by, and now, even decades after the Bunny Man's death, People say that late at night around Halloween, bodies can be seen hanging from the bridge. Legend also has it that if you walk to the Bunny Man Bridge at midnight, the Bunny Man will appear and take you. Later, you will be found hanging from the overpass entrance, just like Marcus Walster. So the next time you're in Fairfax County, Drop by the old Colchester overpass. That is, if you're brave enough. <laughs>